If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Guys, welcome back. We are back. We're breaking into the warehouse. Let's do it. Let's go. How'd you sprint? So it's been a while. I was on holiday. I went to Chicago for a week. So it's been a while since I played this game. I know the upload schedule might be different, but... If I'm a bit rusty and I'm pressing all different types of buttons, buttons, that is why. Can you sprint in this game? I'm, I, I don't know if I can just sprint. I don't think you can. Okay, we're just running normally. Watch out. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. That's crazy. It's been, I've been away for like one week and I forgot the buttons already. The good thing is that this game is prompted, isn't it? The buttons are prompted, so it's not like you have to have muscle memory and um, remember the buttons. To... A little bit of parkour action going on. Let's follow... Um... Oh, okay. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. That's it. We was breaking into cyber life. These guys have got some bunnies, bro. Mark it. I'm up here. Yes, I remember. We was breaking into cyber life. That's what they found in Jericho, right? So we're gonna see what they find. What they find here. I'm sure it's gonna be corrupted. Uh, Nothing good can come out of this. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. Reconstruct. Is he gonna hack it? Ah, okay. So we're looking at different possibilities. Nope. Would be spotted for sure. All right. What's a different option? Let's go this way. All right. Then up on here. No, would be too high. Okay, there's a second option here, right? Yep. No, would be too far. Swing onto the other side, then onto the drone. Then he's gonna go all the way down to the ground, right? Fine. Good job, Marcus. Oh, she's feeling her. Quick, she's open the other crates her. and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. What am I meant to do? Just stand there. Oh, is she gonna give me anything? Oh, okay, let's go over here. I remember you got to bloody move the controls, isn't it? You got to move it around like you're a madman. Don't snitch. Don't do it. You're trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. 
I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Oh, what am I to do? Grab and hide. Grab and hide. Yeah, John. we don't we don't want to give up our position. I need your help. John! Oh we gonna see the knife! Hold release. Attack! 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 Fuck it. Was that the right decision? I don't know. Damn. I think I'm fucking this game. Like, I'm playing this game the complete wrong way. Let's like. finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. And I'm trying to play it in one playthrough. I'm not trying to, like, make bad decisions and then restart the mission again. So, however it ends up, it ends up, right? Should I have shanked him? I don't think I should have stabbed him, but... I didn't want to blow the operations as well, you know? Check bigger crates. He's just gonna stand there. I'll check bigger crates back here, okay. I mean, we was already kind of fucked um, breaking in here, so us killing the human I think the, the punishment would have been as bad as uh, us not killing him, you know? So, I don't know. I'm just trying to make myself feel better. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? Uh, freedom, close again. Let's close it. That's all we can carry. Let's go. I think if we freed them, they would have just fucked Take up the whole mission. You. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back. It's too dangerous. Are we going to bring him? Us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full oh, they of bio components. They, they run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Oh, should we leave? Get the key? We're going to get the key, man. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. You know, I'm always living life on the edge, right? So let's try the key. Find the key. This is about to be a shit show. I'm already knowing. Oh shit. I feel like I'm fucking up already. Can I just go in here? No, we can't. We can't go in that way. Why would I think walking in the front door would be the best option? Oh, it's going through here. Okay, so I'm going to try and not kill the guards, if I can uh, um, avoid it. If I can't, they're going to have to go. Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Oh shit. Yeah, I was going to take my kids camping this weekend. These guys ain't spotted me. Where, where the fuck are they? Looks like it. And he should be done Key already. Found. 
rough in here and they're not patrolling on that. How you cause a blackout? I'm gonna fuck up. Did I find the key? Did I find the key? I don't know if I'm talking to myself or not. Oh my God, what am I doing? Ah, okay, this is gonna cause a blackout. All right, short circuit, put back. Let's cause a blackout. Oh shit! I got a flashlight somewhere. Here it is. God damn, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. <clears throat> stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Can we go this way now? Alright, let's go. Grab this key. Where's the key at? Here? Still? Run, mom, I run! Get the fuck out of there! Go, 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 go. Oh my god. What the fuck just happened? Run back. Run! Oh wow. Did you get it? Nice. Wow. I don't think it was meant to be that intense, but. But we did it. We got it. Oh, she feeling your boy. Oh yeah, we got her on our side now. I mean, what are they looking for? They're still looking for me? They've covered that ground. All right, smooth, smooth, smooth. Apart from us stabbing the guy, killing him. It was, it was a smooth, smooth transition. A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We load. got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Yeah, look at him trying to claim all the credit. Ryan Gosling ain't shit. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! And just like that, the revolution was born. Sexiest androids. So this is an android strip club. That is so wild. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. 
What do you look like going to a bloody strip club that is full of androids? That is absolutely wild. Like, they better not be no android stripper in there. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. These sexiest androids. Diabolical, mate. Welcome to Eden Club. I mean, they look like human beings, right? But this is absolutely wild. God damn, she don't look like no android, though. Connor! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> We check it out the androids. Oh, you can't check. Okay, let's see. You can check her out. Oh damn, this is wild. How much is it total? Twenty nine ninety nine. This is absolutely wild. Connor got distracted though. Lieutenant Anderson is plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? Why are you wasting your time? There's some pervert who uh <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh I'm starting to stink of booze in here. Lieutenant. Wait, so the guy that's dead, I'm presuming he's uh, obviously a human being. He was not having sex with an android, right? That's that's not physically possible. Maybe he was getting that guap guap 3000, but then again, that's a bit, that's a bit wild as well. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Blue blood, serial number. All right, so we've analyzed her. Let's go see Mr. Lonely. Cardiac arrest, no sign of cardiac event, heart attack, not cause of death. Okay. So it wasn't a heart attack. Got something on his neck. What is this? Severe bruising, signs of strangulation, cause of death. Cause of death. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. So we got strangled then. We know he was strangled. But by who? That's a question. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. He started hitting me again. 
again. And again. I... Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. What model? Other android? What okay. model was the other android? Did it look like you? Yo, this is too intense. Oh, shit. This is so fucking there was intense. another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Uh-oh. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three What's going times. going on, sir? I mean, these guys, they don't really See if she's seen anything. Come, come in, do their business, and they get on their way. Please try again. They ready have any trouble with androids before? No way. Oh, you need a human no. fingerprint. Once, we lost a model two, three months back. Same model. Just vanished, Mayor. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Rent this, Tracy. For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. <sighs> hmm? Hello. A 30 minute session costs $29.99. Please confirm your purchase. $39.99. It's not going to look good on my expense account. For real though. Hank is out here banging robots. It's not a good look. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Okay. So who's this creep? He wanted some action as well. Look at that. Wait, let's go back. Look at that smile. What a douche, mate. Okay, we got that's the girl there. That's the potential other victim. A blue haired Tracy headed toward the entrance. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. This woman, huh? She would have hey, saved us. Let's try this one. This better be. Oh well, damn! She's moving, though, isn't it? All right, move a bit slower. So we can see exactly who this Tracy girl is. There we go. We turn back into the club. All right, where did she end up going? Further down. Okay, so we have to go down that way. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. Uh, my man grooving though. There are androids everywhere. How are you going right. to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know it. There we go. It turned to the red room. How much time we got left? Because these timers are a motherfucker.
Ask Kang. No, let's go here. He wouldn't have seen it though, innit? But we're gonna connect anyway. He ain't see shit. Damn, bro. What are you doing? You see her? No, he ain't see shit. He didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. Right here. Oh, it's time. God damn. That's some fucking creeps. My God. He's trying to get some action as well. No. I lost its track again. All right, let's go. Come on. You should have. I think he would have seen something. Oh, wow. Dirty motherfuckers. Oh, dirty. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not. There we go. Let's turn to the blue room. All right, blue room, let's go. Yeah, there's a lot of freaks, man. A lot of freaks in Detroit. Let's see. Head in the room. All right, so it's in this one now. Or it should be anyway. Is she dead? You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. <laughs> For real though. Oh, how much time have I got left? For fuck's sakes. All right, it fled through the staff's door. Okay. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Can we walk through, please? Why are we fucking walking? Wait. Can we sprint? I'll take it from here. All right, moment of truth. So it was blue head, right? Shit, we're too late. What do you mean we're too late? Examine. What is that? How can I press that? I can't press it. Christ, look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Oh, she's gone though, isn't it? She still could be in the warehouse though. So we do have to look thoroughly. Um, let's have a look. Oh shit. Don't move! 
Now my new shield's harder. Damn, she trying to kill your boy? Oh, wrong button, shit. Oh, she a martial artist this time as well. Oh, not coming. Oh my god. Kick. God damn, these bitches are strong. Well, they're androids, right? Oh my god. This is way too intense, yeah. Alright, quick, quick, quick with the buttons. Don't fuck up with the buttons. Oh shit. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Ah, oh, wrong button. Duh. I'm not ready. Shoot that bitch. Shoot, spare. Shoot, man. She gotta go. She gotta go. She won't, she won't stop it. I feel like I'm just playing this game so wrong. Like. Why? Why did you kill her? She had nothing to do with any of this. Oh, she was about to kill me. Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans. The smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you've... You've taken her away from me. Oh wow. I loved her. My god. Oh, can we replay this mission? We need to replay this. Oh my gosh, I'm fucking up. I am making all the wrong decisions, like. Oh my god. Let's make some better decisions. Let's make some better decisions because I feel like I'm just choosing all the wrong ones. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? 
All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. Check on Alice. Yo, she's fucking terrified. I know, I'll put you through some shit. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. I don't know, something seems a bit off. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Come on. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. They're robots, there's nothing they can do, like, they can't call the engine or something. What am I meant to do now? I have no idea. I'm not going to leave them with Alice, though. That's one thing for sure I'm not doing. Well, we can't open the door for Alice. I think I have to go ahead. So, see the arrow there. Let's go to the arrow. Am I doing the right thing? I do not know, but... Pirates Amusement Park. There. Nothing good's going to come out of this. I can tell you that now. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Right, where can we find shelter? Man, poor Alice, she's been through so much. Uh oh, what the hell is that? I'm just walking there, why am I walking there? I don't know, but I'm walking there. Oh, is he frozen? Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Oh. Can we stay? This place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. This house looks like a potential candidate. See if we can get in there. It's, 
It's open though, the roof, right? Light work. Light work. Here we go. Make a bed for Alice. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to read that. Let's find somewhere comfy for Alice to sleep. Maybe over here. Top is open though, right? So it will be cold as hell in there. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Check gun, off a cookie, leave. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. We got a check gun, right? Okay, so that's a potential option that we can use if shit hits the fan. Wait, that was the same marking that was in the other um, apartment, right? With the pigeons. So there's probably a deviant somewhere in here. Unicorn. 
something. No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Fair. Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... She was different, and that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot, who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... Uh. But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Let's go happy end. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Damn, Alice is wise. Very you want to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. Damn, they don't got themselves a child. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything? About Alice? No. What do you mean? Uh -oh. God damn. What's this one? Protect Alice. Grab gun. Protect Alice. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? 
I don't think she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Tara. Oh my God. I don't think you have any choice. Right, yeah, fuck it, you know, she's been through a hard time. Let her have some fun, I guess. Damn, Luther's a big motherfucker, though. Be our guest! So we have to reactivate Carousel. Little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Well, sure, at least Alice enjoyed herself. <laughs> that was the wrong call, man. I shouldn't have shot the Deviant's girlfriend. But I felt like if I had spared her, she would have got away. And then Hank still would have been pissed, you know? Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before. before what? Hmm? You said I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before. Before nothing. Let's ask a personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? No, it's just me. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Not making any progress on this investigation. The deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? <laughs> you seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. 
They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. Um, let's go Russian. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Cold. Let's go disturb this. I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Oh. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation. And have negative consequences for your personal situation. Oh, I'm fucking up. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Damn. Always one step ahead, huh? I can't get no ups with Tell Hank. Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, like I knew I was pissing Hank off, but god damn. Like that? That's crazy. Wow. Hank just gave me one to the dome. No diddy. Oh, that's crazy. Hank shot Connor. Connor was the, fuck me, mate. That's just wild. That's absolutely wild. I mean, I was saying Connor was a bit of a follow protocol, but then again, I was making all the decisions, right? So I was fucking up. Damn, Hank really shot Connor. That's crazy. is on the uprise. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance.
Okay. All right. Let's try and make better decisions. I'm saying that, but I'm still gonna fuck up. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Oh, hold on to it. Okay, we can just do that. Smartwatch. Futuristic. Elizabeth Wilson. Is that a human being, right? Yeah, it has to be. Okay, parking badge. She's got a child there. Yeah, it is a human, okay. Got one more clue somewhere. A haircut, maybe? No. Oh, we got this letter. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. School, fire department, school. This is St. Grove School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. Oh, wow. You gotta use a daughter, right? You gotta use a child. They parents, they're gonna drop everything to go and protect their kids, so. All right, so can we talk to her again and then go through? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. This guy is a superhero. Or a villain. Can we get one of the humans? Oh, damn. They ain't even wait for me. That's crazy. To the 30, oh, 47th floor. 47th floor. We are here and we have to, what do we have to do? Access server room, find package and men's bathroom. Okay, so wait, bathrooms are this way. So let's go. So there should be a package in the men's bathroom. It's got to be down there, right? Let's have a look in there though. This is them spewing their negative agenda. All right, bathroom is here. Which one is men's and women's? This is men's, I think. I hope I didn't go into the ladies. Oh, we blending in, okay. Let's get it. Right, what's the next step now? What do we have to do? 
package of quarter or retrieved, find utility android. Okay, got over there. I need your help. So far, so smooth. Let's not jinx anything. We're going on a little stroll right now. Open fire escape. And where is the fire escape? The server room, we're not going in there yet, but I'm sure we do want to go in the server room at a point in time. The fire escape is on the other side, if I remember correctly. There we go. I'm in here by myself. Is it a joint mission or? We opening it for the rest of them to come in, maybe? Oh yeah, okay. People can't get jobs and we're sending rockets. They really move a lot of human beings though. What do they even expect to find out? Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. I check guards away from the door. Let's hey, go. You still play poker? How can we attract them away from the door? We have to do some sort of madness. Maybe like a fire alarm. No, we don't want to do a fire alarm. That's a bit mad. Oh, there's an option over there. Let's go over here. Hell yeah. Don't mind me. We're just walking past. We're not up to nothing suspicious. Okay, let's hack this. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Well, meant to do that. Open now, okay. Open it here. All right, we're on some Mission Impossible kind of thing now. Okay, so we should have a clean exit. Ladies first. It couldn't be me. It could not be me, mate. On the side of a skyscraper, you are absolutely crazy. This is cool though. This is pretty cool.
The music as well just adds to that effect. Almost feels like I'm playing a Marvel game or something. Like I'm playing Spider Man. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Let's do this. The straight maintenance door lock. Where is that? Okay, right over here. I would have walked on the other side of the building. Why was I expecting a much louder bang? I don't know, but that's, that's definitely um, clutch though anyway. But it doesn't draw much attention. than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? We ain't gonna kill, man. Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who t what are you doing? We ain't gonna kill. We ain't gonna kill. We ain't gonna kill. We're trying to play the game now a bit more smoother. Judo chop. Okay. Hey, we didn't say we ain't gonna knock them out. Did the Android operate this way? Okay. They, they had to be one. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No, don't shoot! Ah, oh, Jesus! He had to go. There was no other choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Josh ain't fuck with me, but he had to go, though. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. What? The revolution. The revolution will be televised.
You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Uh, recognition, end of slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Well. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. That's crazy. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. This is like flashbacks, man. Obviously, I wasn't there during that time, but wow. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. Wow. Can we clap? Let's a quick clap. Amazing, amazing. All right, all right, let's go before they fucking kill us. What do they think about the speech? Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. Oh! Oh, we are. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing Ooh. of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Damn. Maybe I shouldn't have shut the guy. He had to go, though. He had to go. Okay, the group escaped. Ah, so if I didn't... If I didn't shoot him, maybe he could have triggered the alarm and we wouldn't have all escaped. So, yeah. I think I, think I, I, think I preferred the options I took anyway. I think so.